morning. Oh no, good afternoon. It's time for Dear Doby. And happy Valentine's Day to you, one and all. And looky here, I have a little rose for you. There you go, there you go. Yes, indeed, and it lights up. And isn't that cute? Oh my, I might have two for you if you're seeing me too. And once again, you know what that means. Well, let's get down to business, shall we? All right, dears. I have a letter and I'm so excited. It comes from the World Wide Web. And I just don't understand, but I have had no letters before on the World Wide Web. So let us seek to see how well we can answer the call. Dear Doby, I have a friend at work that would love to move to Florida. How wonderful. But she keeps want waiting to win the lottery, and I just don't think that will happen soon. She even has her son thinking that if he wins, he can buy a trailer and live there. What should I tell her? Hmm. Sign concerned. Now, I didn't read that quite right. It said, what advice can I give her to make her realize that she should just save her money instead and not expect to win the lottery? Sign concerned. All right, dears. Well, let us first address the problem of the son wanting to go live in Florida. Actually, it's not a problem. It's a wonderful, wonderful idea. The reason I said problem is because of the word trailer. No, 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 no. If one wants to live a long, healthy life in Florida, one does not live in a trailer or a mobile home. Because I am guessing, I am surmising that the son has only seen Miss Florida on her very best behavior. She has her face shining with a warm sun, the soft gulf breezes enveloping his body, and he is so in love with the sand and the surf. But he has not seen Florida when, how shall I say in a delicate manner, she's in her womanly cycle. Now you girls know that when we are in that womanly cycle, we can get very, very puffy. We get filled with water. We get very angry and we just don't want to be bothered and we're going to tell everybody what so if we are. Well, Florida is somewhat like that. You see, she is like this, oh, we better not use this finger. She is like this little finger with two oceans on either side, an Atlantic and the Pacific and the Gulf of Mexico, which is so lovely. Now, when the bad winds come, which we'll call hurricanes and tsunamis, people that live in trailers, I'll put my finger down now, people who live in trailers in mobile homes, if they have not, excuse me, evacuated, well, my dear, they are blown, blown away to never, never land. I, I, I guess you could say that, that, that you know, they're, they're never coming back because they've either been squashed by their trailer or they're, they're flown out to sea. So the dear son must must realize he needs to have a lot of good groundings, a lot of good footings wherever he lives. And he must always have his radio on because there are evacuations all the time along the coast. So if one can live with that little drawback, it is a wonderful idea, wonderful idea. Dear Doby would love to come and visit, in fact. But uh, do recall now that Miss Florida has her happy face and she has her monthly face where we don't show a very pleasant side. All right, now as to the dear friend wanting to win the lottery so she can go live there. Well, dear Doby has to confess 
she has tried to win the lottery on various occasions throughout the years and I sure got not anything maybe five dollars once but I I don't really put much hope for that as you know you can get struck by lightning more so than you can win the lottery so let's forget that I'll tell you a little quick story there have been at least three times in the past 10 years dear Dolby has had financial catastrophe catastrophe meaning a zero in the bank a zero dollars to pay the bills zero to pay the credit card oh and they get nasty they get nasty so dear Dolby tried oh we're gonna go win the lottery I really up my thing of the lottery but I got nothing but poop poop so I decided you know what I had better get back to basics here and just pray to my Heavenly Father and he is the one that provides for me in the first place so he he will provide if I only trust him and if it's what his will is for my life so I uh, gave it to him all three times I have received actually my dear husband and I have received what we needed and sometimes far above what we needed now it came in unexpected ways things that we would never have dreamed sad ways yes too sad ways where his family his mommy and daddy died but uh, unexpected ways where an aunt left him quite a lot and we were never expecting any aunt to give us anything and and then he then he did win a, a court case against a company also when they fired him because they said he was an old geezer must not do that in the state of Minnesota age discrimination keep that in mind dear all right so what I'm come to the conclusion is that if your dear dear friend really wants to end up in Florida one day and if it is God's will for her life and for that of her family there's no way on earth that will stop her she will be there she will have a pleasant life she will be able to share her love and enthusiasm for life with all those around her and she will invite all of her relatives to come live in the garage that would be a good thing well now dear Dobie hopes I have gone on and on but I am just a little bit beside myself today again because it is Valentine's Day and I, I was little Miss Cupid this morning. Oh yes, indeed. I, I went and got my husband some red roses and I got him a pretty little coffee mug and he's not feeling very well, so he's still sleeping. But dear Odobi wanted to show how much she loved her little, no, well, her little, her, no, not her little, her hubby. Dear Dobie's getting old girls and, and boys if you're out there too, but have a happy happy Valentine's Day and I hope I have said shed some light on the question dear concerned bye bye now and I want you all to have a happy lovely Valentine's Day and I do hope that um oh I can't even say what I hope I I you know, I think I need to take one of my memory pills. That's probably the reason I see two of me. Yeah, okay. Bye-bye.